Hi. In the last video, we have moved the network video recorder about 1,000 feet far away from the cameras. The reason is because the owner wants to watch the camera which deploy in the barn, and he wants to place the network video recorder at the house. And there's about 600 feet, but we use the long run PoE switch to achieve maximum 1,500 feet. You can reference my another video how to move the camera far from, away from the network video recorder. And now we have new requirement from the owner. He usually has the access point, and he would like to connect this access point to the switch. So in this case, he has the wire connection, I mean the data, using the wire connection from the house and supply the Wi-Fi at the barn. OK, now let's move to the washer and see how we can achieve this goal. This is the setup from last video. We have long run PoE switch, and this switch is supplied the power for this three camera. And we use one of the long run port, the port number one, to link this 1,000 feet Ethernet cable and to this PoE standard. We need this PoE standard because it will help the network video recorder talk to the switch. Because even the switch it can supply long run, but for the network video recorder, it's just the regular recorder. And we also need this PoE speaker. The reason is for power handshaking in the standard PoE. If there's no P PDD, I mean, no device which can take the PoE power, it will not release the power. If this one doesn't send the power, and this one doesn't get the power. That's the reason why we need PoE speaker. OK, it, this cable used to connect to this network video recorder because we need the network, so we're adding the router. This is router provide Ethernet access. And both these cables connect to one of the router ports, and now the network video recorder also connect to this router. And so the camera is still live, right? OK, the, the goal is we need to add the access point to this port at the barn so it can provide the Wi-Fi access for the area. And we have the wire cable. I mean, getting the data from the router will be good, right? And you see, you have already occupied all the PoE port. So the second thing is this is only the D using the passive PoE. So even we have other versions which can provide more PoE port, but it will not work directly with this access point because it cannot take in the standard PoE. The difference between the passive and standard is the voltage is different. I mean, in the passive PoE, it will not work. Even you can, and so in this case, we still need this PoE, PoE injector. This is the passive PoE injector. So we connect the PoE injector to the AC outlet so it can get the power. And now we need two short punch code. The first punch, first punch code is connect to the PoE port. This is the PoE port. And so it will supply the power to the wireless access point. It just connect to the power port. Once it cut in, you can see now it's getting power. It needs to wait for a while. And there's another port. It's the LAN port. OK, let me just place this here. We got the second punch code to link the LAN port. This is the port that's going to get the data from the long run PoE switch. You see, we still have another two additional regular ports. This port doesn't supply power, it just supplies data. So we connect to this port. This is how it works. You can see the data, the Ethernet accessing is coming from this router, going through this long run 1000 feet Ethernet cable, and it's landing to this long run PoE switch. Now it's supplying the through this power inventory, right, it is access point. So it's a little bit complicated, but if you just remove all the camera, <laughs> imagine we don't have all this camera, it will be more simple. You see just the data through here and go to this switch and go to this access point. That will be all. Now, both video and the data, internet accessing is all going through this cable and reach to this router and for this camera, we see it's still, still alive. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.